Hello everyone and welcome to another Impossible Creatures live cast, or rather not a live cast, a post commentary. Uh, I'm Will and I'm going to be post commenting uh, a game I played uh, recently on a very good duos. I don't really know which game this is, I kind of just scrolled through and thought that sounds like it might be okay. So we're going to go into it and uh, yeah, well, this is mostly self beneficial, I want to pick apart my own gameplay and a few other things that go on on the map and uh, see where I can improve and maybe maybe some of you guys can take heed of that. And, if we uh, can take implement that into your own game as well. So the teams we have Steve and Toast. Oh, I think this is me and Ben Harvey. Yeah, this is me and winning. Okay, cool. So I think if I'm remembering this right, we end up winning. But uh, let's see what happens. Let's go into it. All enemy labs. This island is ours for the taking. Apologies if that game sound is quite loud, but I might need to turn that down in future recordings. So Toast is one henchman at a time. Steve gets a later rod than Toast, but again, mostly one henchman at a time. I nearly a rod. Ben's already got a rod as well. Okay. So fairly similar builds. Um, oh, Steve gets a second rod. Okay. So when I see this, I kind of think that uh, Steve's going to have uh, level 2 the quickest. That would be my earliest um, assumption. Uh, Toast has so that's six, seven henchmen, the one over here, one queued up his lab. Steve's on six, one at the lab. I'm on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one at the lab. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and one at the lab. Okay, so economically, I would think that the person behind the most is uh, Ben winning because he has one fewer hench uh, than everyone else. Steve obviously has six hench as well, but he has the second rod. So really Ben's floating resources, he doesn't need to be floating here, he could be spending them. We also see Toast get Hello. the expansion very early, this is a minute into the game, I know my FPS counter kind of blocks that, I do apologise. Probably should have turned that off really. So shortly I think we'll start seeing level 2, probably from Steve coming out. Still, uh, yeah, myself and Ben getting the second rods, Toast does not yet. So it's obviously already at the island. I was expecting to see Steve hit level 2 here. Maybe I'm a bit early in my timings, I could be wrong. I also take the expert. Interesting that Ben does this. I'm not sure if this is worth. Probably is, to be honest, but I don't do it. Steve's obviously rallying hench to this expo. Toast still only on one rod. This idle hench Ready, has been boys. here for a while. Uh, <clears throat> so, what I would have done if I was Steve is probably. Do what maybe Ben's doing actually. The way he took this expo, how he's sending hench, like rallying them. Perhaps would have sent some hench here and rallied them so they would uh, mine this card, take it back to the lab. He could have sent two or three hench over to build this to start off with and then spawn them at the workshop. And he may have had less idle time. I don't really know. I suppose this way it gives him the, the fast level, or rather the uh, level two, probably for anyone else. And I toasted it first, okay. Maybe I did. Okay, so Steve built that second rod, so he's presumably floating quite a lot of electricity, which means you would anticipate an earlier level three from him now. Uh, he should have, he's actually the, nearly the slowest level two. Uh, in fact, yeah, just the slowest level two, but he had two rods up very quickly. See me and Steve both at this uh, left island. And that is obviously myself first, then we'll see Toast, who's now got the three rods. Steve also with three rods, that should be Toast. And then we'll see Steve any second, that's Steve. Ben. So I take the second expansion, a bit behind on I have my third rod. Ben has two rods and a, a gen. Three rods, or four rods and four rods. So Ben's the only person with a generator at the moment, which is obviously a good source to be like. Mm, kind of not sure myself if it's worth getting the gen before you have four rods, or if you should get all four, or if there's like an optimum getting three and then a gen, or I don't really know yet. Steve getting advanced structures, so we'll see if he actually makes use of this early on. Don't know. I'm pretty bad at upgrading gens, I need to get on top of this. I do actually have two gens now. 
This is Ben. Steve and uh, Toast a little behind that. Steve has more of a stocked expansion, and it looks like there's pressure coming out towards the middle. Ready, boss. Uh, with these snowy owl scorpions. It's interesting that Ben didn't go here to the island. Oh, I think that's because I think Ben didn't have any uh, amphibious units, I think, until late game. Could be wrong on that. So I sent these uh, zebra lobsters to assist in mid versus these uh, snowy owl scorps. I know they don't have regen, so they're not too threatening. Uh, obviously, the high damage is pretty scary, but uh, as long as we can whittle them down between Frepper range and uh, my, my level 2s, then not too much of an issue here. At least Ben was obviously prepared for this by having the CC up early and obviously took this expansion, whereas I went to the island. Uh, probably for the best for Ben, obviously, seeing as Toast has this. But uh, yeah, we'll carry on and see what happens. So yeah, back again, they get into camo range and then they can get into melee against the Frebras. But this, I think, is where my uh, lobsters come in. Obviously, these are all weakened, so I should take care of this pretty handily. Still have a few more here. I'll send these to mid as well. I don't my plan was here. Probably, what am I doing at my lab? Okay, I'm going three. Is it an ask going three? Let me pause again. Steve is going to be the. F oh, Toast is going to be the first of the three. Okay. Map control wise, I guess. In fact, I not even guess. I think it's pretty clear that Toast has the most map control. He has the full island as well as his base. So he doesn't have this second expo. I have my second expo and half the island. At the moment, obviously Ben has the strongest electricity at the moment with three gens. Uh, Steve's still only on one. Upgrades wise, uh, toast that's got two knobs. That's got one knob. Uh, three knobs, or four knobs even. It's going for my third. That's a good two. Okay, all right, let's keep going. Steve now hitting my island. Um, I aggressively use henchmen to punch, which is kind of stupid. I need to stop doing this. I kind of default into a uh, control A, or rather control H and then A, which is attack move. Can select all henchmen attack move. At this point, I should be sending these units Hello. immediately to come and help my base. I don't know why I don't do this. It should be. Uh, that is Steve now hitting level three. I think I've just got it just about to. So Steve's level threes are going to get in here first. Now I finally send the units across. Okay. That looks like Toast is getting the level threes out too. These are Oog stretches. Very nice. Very nice. I like the stats. Now my units are able to make a difference and I'm also level threes. And yeah, these hammerhead wolves. It's kind of good. So Steve did not build a sand beam. A sand beam probably would have helped uh, no research going on. At this point, Steve is finding a losing battle because he doesn't have uh, control. He doesn't have sand beams though. But uh, the more of these wolves I get out, or I'm allowed to get out, which I'm queuing up a few at this point in time, will uh, will turn this tide because that damage is just so good. Uh, Steve not building units here. Is he? Oh, he's expanding and trying to increase his economy. Also hitting mid. Thankfully, uh, was Toast actually attacked? But uh, I called out to Ben, and Ben came and saved the day with these bull scorps and the uh, freppers. Just good. I chased Steve out. These guys should be probably upgraded by now. They are, yes. It's okay. Toast has a lot of chambers, not spending too much. I don't know what Toast is, uh, I think Toast is quite passive. Maybe it's something you could perhaps work on in the future. So, uh, Ben's obviously made a lot of units, uh, saved me a couple of times. Uh, I did take mid, or the, the island. I think I'm now, oh, these just swam over after the hench, but these weren't uh, deliberate attacks, they just kind of went. Now they arrive. Is it on going level 4? No. So Toast sends this. Toast doesn't have any amphib, I don't think. So I don't know if he's able to do anything about this. What's he making? Oh no, he does now. This is level 3 amphib, okay. 
But he's also got mid to deal with now. Okay. So at this point in time, I should be making units with my chambers here and supporting uh, Ben right now. Ben obviously doesn't have any uh, real answer to this. So I should have suggested to Ben to build a water chamber perhaps in this region here. I could build that for him. Uh, so he you know, maintained his amphibious axis. Uh, I probably also should have uh, let him take one of these islands safer, probably. Uh, and I definitely should have encouraged some sound beams, or Ben perhaps should have built some sound beams just to. Uh, actually, I don't know what the range is. Maybe. Yeah, no, sound beams would have been useful here. Okay. Alright, we'll uh, continue. I think at this point, well, for these guys, I'm just going to uh, raid the chamber and the gen. Um, I should then have gone straight to this expo, but I didn't. But you'll see in a moment. So these frogs not doing huge amount of damage, seeing as uh, Toast predominantly is using level 2 range and uh, Bull Scorps. So this is where the gen goes, and I swim these rounds to this side. The intention was to go and hit a Toast Expo over here, but I probably should have just raided, because I think had I done that and came straight into the base, I would have done a bit more damage. Reinforcing as well, but what you're noticing is I have predominantly all melee. I have one <laughs> unit. I think I misclicked on that. This is silly. Okay, so toasts frogs are dealing with. Uh, well, actually, causing a fair bit of damage. They would have got rid of the gen two water chambers. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the mini map. Oh, this is terrible. Steve Supply is just tear me apart here and I don't do anything with these, I'm just like foddering them. This is really bad micro, or well, not even micro, it's just bad attention span. So I, I think I saw these something? I think I did a pulse at my lab? Do I have an AA? Or am I about to do a pulse? I might be about to do a pulse. I think I am. I remember this part anyway. So I sent these to come and deal with any swimmers down here and couldn't see them. So this distracts from toast and the toast pulls back. Steve's economy is obviously quite hurting after he expended a fair bit in here, in mid, and uh, ultimately lost it. Now right now I'm letting these frogs attack me for no reason, I should be paying more attention here, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Uh, ben is kind of carrying the fight at the moment. Yeah, Ben's actually doing some serious business here, he's now hitting Toast Expansion. This frog's doing nothing because I just lost the gen, I don't think I even noticed that gen going in the game. Now I think I'm starting to notice sending units. Toast still suffering, or rather not suffering, but trying to beat Ben on two fronts. This is a good play by Ben. Um, Proto Ben Icy always trying to attack on two fronts. It's uh, hard for your opponent to kind of deal with anything. Steve's units are hopefully going to reinforce. Okay, he doesn't. There will be a reason to that, I'm sure. Looks like these guys are going up to north. And this massive wipes out those frogs. Finally, Toast and Steve between them have uh, sorted out the problem in their base, which is good. This gen exists. This gen is back up as well. Is it being upgraded? No. Is mine? No. Of course not. Again, I have this uh, issue with building just one type of unit, and I need to put an end to this as well. All of one unit type is not good. We've already seen that Steve has flyers, which can deal with these in a pinch, in a heartbeat. And yet, I am just attacking with pure melee again, for no reason. Uh, ben has obviously the same, similar issue with just, just melee, which is okay, I guess. But now I've seen flyers, it's just like, this is stupid, what are we doing? Two people have fallen. Probably Ben and Toast. I haven't actually seen the other one. Yeah, Steve's still building level 3, so it must be. And Toast is now building level 4, so okay, so probably Ben and Toast. What's this? Yeah, it's Ben, these are level 4, look. So now I try and. This is a little bit of a waste. This is too late that I send units to go and assist with Ben. And, uh,. Ben's obviously no longer here. Um, I don't know if I upgrade the speed on these guys. I did, okay. So I should have sent these just straight from the start and gone to go and help Ben when he attacked this island. Ben was obviously doing most of the damage in mid at the same time. Uh, so if I'd done that, then between us we could have taken this island probably. 
he had a good uh, good force of uh, those turtle cobras, I think they were, or comedians maybe. Uh, here they yeah. are. Yeah, turtle comedians. So probably could have taken this, and that would have been the game swinger as well. Steve's flyers yet again doing damage with uh, gens. This is good use of flyers. Um, these gens can't be protected by uh, anti air towers, so you have to use the units there, which is a bit of a waste of resources, but we'll see. Yet again, I am only building. Yeah, only building melee. Good move, me. Hashtag that sarcasm. Nearly at four. Okay, let's play this out. Let's put it at the top. I'm raiding Steve again. I think that was with the wolves I sent up here to take the gen on this expo. Steve's doing fine. There's massive Sonic should take care of these, no worries. Well, I would expect so, certainly with toast reinforcements. So there's another mass hitting mid. Toast not sending his forces to mid. Toast, if Toast had gone back to his base, maybe? I don't know. Steve's still reading. That's me at level 4 now. So again I have this mass of just hammerhead wolves and just for no reason. There's obviously a lot of range on the on the field and I'm just building melee. Why am I doing this? Actually I think just by numbers uh, Ben and I are going to win this fight. But we are building stupidly. We should be building a mix of range of melee. Uh, Steve and I hate my gen again which I never upgraded. Clever me. And now I have Sonic. Sonic should be good against Flyers, so that's okay. Now I'm sending Sonic. Uh, as nearly all of my wolves are dead. There's a fair few. Ben's Cuttles are now coming as well. That's good. So I lose the gen, but I do take down most of the Flyers, if not all. Maybe not all. Rebuild the gen straight away, that's fine. Okay, most of the action is still going on up here. And Steve DCs. Okay. Well, that wasn't over yet. It was probably done and dusted, but it wasn't over. Okay, so that's the game. Um, interesting. There's a few flaws in my gameplay that I need to improve on. Maybe Toast and Steve learnt a few things. Uh, and possibly Ben as well, but I don't know. I think that was just an interesting game. Um, but again, yeah, this is mostly for my own benefit, so if you gain something, give this video a thumbs up, maybe uh, drop a subscribe, and uh, I'll post the details for the um, Discord and that sort of stuff in the description below. Cheers for watching. Bye.